So I, th I think in the last couple of years, what we've seen is AI moving uh, into a world where it can understand what's going on around it. We finally have AI that can read images, understand images, understand voice, understand uh, people's emotions, look at video and understand what's happening in there. All of this was not possible in any, in any reliable way just a couple of years ago. That ability uh, creates a wealth of new opportunities, I think, for, for uh, advertising, for making sort of adaptive smart campaigns and things like that. So instead of having just uh, a, a fixed set of advertisement and you have analytics decide which ad to show based on content, you uh, might soon have AI that actually creates the ads on demand based on what people want to see, based on the context, based on intent. Uh, these things were not possible before, but it also means that as uh, when you design these uh, campaigns, you have to sort of step away a bit and let the AI do its thing. So there's a little bit of a loss of control. So, so of course there's opportunity for, uh, for these campaigns to be more intrusive in a way because they will tailor things more precisely to what you've done and what you're interested in and your intent. But also it could be uh, that they, these campaigns now will be more subtle, more invisible. Uh, they'll be sort of uh, more effective, and so we'll need less of it. So I think there's, a, there's, a, there. You know, it's a, basically it's a double-edged sword, and we have to see how it plays out.